Sick and tired of in-school fights tonight, Kansas City Superintendent tries to land a knockout blow to kids causing classroom problems. And despite funding issues, his district is starting a new half-million-dollar alternative program. Larry Seward is live downtown to explain why. Krista, at 6, we told you about a fight at Southwest Early College campus that injured a security guard. Tonight here at the school board during a meeting, the superintendent says there are discipline problems district-wide at high schools caused by overage students not in school to learn. It seems Southwest has the biggest challenge. If the students fight... They're out. Fighting at Southwest Early College campus is not rare. They had fights day one, first day of school, and just basically it's about the fight every day up here. Today, a female security guard was pushed downstairs trying to break up a scuffle. Witnesses saw several students involved, but how it started deeply concerns Kansas City Superintendent. The problems were not sparked by the students themselves, but were sparked by... Uh, the students' parents. Dr. John Covington says the school of 1,600 students has problems. Two weeks into school, kids run rampant in hallways, skip class. Southwest is not alone with high school enrollment up across the district. Other schools have similar problems with students. They are 18, uh, 19, and in some cases, 20 years old. And there are a few 17-year-olds who have only acquired to date uh, maybe two, three, four credits. Uh, we know that those students are not going to be successful in school. To fix it, the district plans to unveil the options program. Starting Monday, 100 students will move into manual tech. The kids, grades 7 through 12, will be selected by their principals because of academic and behavior problems. As a result, more teachers, possibly some laid off earlier this year, will be hired. They're going to look for those teachers that really want to work um, with those kids. And um, if they do that, then, then this should be a good program. It should work. One thing is clear, Dr. Covington wants fighting to end. And again, this options program is going to cost the district between a half a million dollars and $800,000 because of transportation costs, mills, and hiring those new teachers. And the superintendent, Dr. John Covington, knows it's expensive, but he says those students causing problems, they also deserve an education. They also deserve an environment that is tailored to their learning needs. And we are live tonight, downtown Kansas City. Larry Seward, NBC Action News. Wow.